Hey, what's up everybody? This is Robin Tatlin here, and today doing a movie review for Godzilla. Um, so before I start the review, I'm just going to say this will have spoilers, so if you haven't seen the movie, uh, I wouldn't recommend you watching this. But yeah, if you've seen it, you can stick around for this review, so yeah, just if you haven't seen the movie, I uh, wouldn't recommend you watching this until you go see it. So, um, this is a great movie. And uh, it's much better than the 1998 um, because, well, I guess I love the way this one, Godzilla, he's so big, but he actually, um, he looks like Godzilla. He has the same sort of look and, you know, he isn't all skinny or anything like that. You know, he's big, strong Godzilla. So he looks great in this one. Um, that's great. And what's also cool is there's other monsters in this one. There's two Mutos, so there's like a male Muto and a female, and the male one like is much smaller than the female, but then the male one can fly, which is cool, and then the female one's obviously huge, but yeah, can't fly, so that's cool, so it's kind of like about, there's Joe Brody, who's played by Brian Cranston in the movie, he's like all um, kind of, you know, uh... He's kind of nervous because, um, you know, he thinks there's something going on, there's something out there, there's something people are not telling us, and it turns out he's right, but, you know, everyone thinks he's crazy. Uh, his son, Joe Brody, who's played by Aaron Taylor John, or, sorry, his son, Ford Brody, is played by Aaron Taylor Johnston, who's kind of thinks he's all crazy, you know, uh, but he's not, he's not. <laughs> And, you know, then, uh, they, they have, like, one of the Mutos in, like, their, uh, cocoon or whatever you want to call it, and that hatches, so, then there's, like, that's the flying Muto, the, uh, male Muto, winged Muto, whatever you want to call it, so that kind of escapes, and Godzilla, he, like, kind of, you don't see him till, like, half the movie, like, are you decent, or, you know, kind of, about an hour into the movie, you do see him, like, right at the start, but it's only, like, his spikes, and it's kind of, like, the intro of the movie, but, you know, when you do see him, it's, it's really cool, and, um, yeah, and then he shows up and fights, uh, the wing Muso. what was kind of disappointing, that this was the one scene that disappointed me, is, like, you think the fight's gonna happen, and it does, but it doesn't really show it, it shows, like, a bit of it on the news, and then it's just, like, it's over, and you're like, okay, because it's kind of annoying, because you're, you know, you're waiting to see Godzilla so long, and then when you see him, it's awesome, but you only see him for, like, three sec, no, about five seconds, and then it's over, and, you know, that kind of disappointed me, uh, disappointing, you know, a lot of my friends, I think a lot of people were disappointed about that scene, so, yeah, and then, um, the, you know, the female Muso, that one comes on later, um, you know, and then they kind of, uh, like, the, the male Muso, like, calls the female or something, and they, like, or something, it's talking to it, and they, like, meet up, and it's weird, because they feed on radiation, which is kind of weird, but it's cool, I think Godzilla does too, but, you know, that was, I found that interesting, and, um, they have, like, a big, big loads of, like, little eggs or whatever, and there's Mutos in it, so, you know, Godzilla is trying to stop those Mutos, because Godzilla is actually kind of a hero in this movie, which I really liked, he's like, he's kind of, yeah, he destroys shit up and stuff, and, you know, kills those Mutos, but, like, he's like a hero, because he kind of, doesn't hurt anybody, I guess, like, him walking around the city could stomp on a few people, but he actually, like, saves the city by killing the Mutos, because the Mutos are kind of bad, like, they're, like, aggressive, they can, like, kill people and stuff, obviously Godzilla could too, but Mutos, like, and not only that, they need to stop them from, um, their eggs, but the humans do that, they, like, blow up, uh, the Mutos' eggs or whatever, so that was good, and then Godzilla, he, like, finish off, finishes off the Mutos, it, there was, like, two points in the movie where I think Godzilla's dead, and then he, he doesn't die, which is great, because I thought, I thought, you know, he would die, um, which I kind of would have been disappointing, but he doesn't, so 
yeah, they could make a sequel, and that would be great, because I, I love this movie. I think this is a great movie. If you haven't seen it, definitely go see it. Uh, great monster movie. Godzilla's awesome. Kind of, yeah, the, the only thing that bugged me was that scene where it didn't show Godzilla, like, fighting Mudo. Um, I think they should have shown Godzilla a little more. They didn't show him enough. You know, you do see him, like, quite a lot in the movie, but... You just don't see him enough because, you know, if you're in the Godzilla movie, you're expecting to see him loads. So you don't, he's only appears in the movie, I'd say, 15, 20 minutes. So, uh, but, you know, you get to see the Mutos and all. It kind of focuses more on the humans, you know. Uh, that's what I kind of like, though. It's it's quite a realistic movie. So I think Godzilla is a great movie. It's definitely one of my favorite movies of 2014. 2013, it's, this is my favorite movie I've seen in a long time, and I think this movie deserves a 10 out of 10, I would give this a 10, I loved this movie, I think it's great, I hope they make a sequel, and I just want to see, or, you know, see what you guys thought about, about it, so, you can write that in the comments below, um, and thanks for watching, please subscribe, and catch you guys later. Bye. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Robin Tablin here, and today doing a movie review for Godzilla. Um, so before I start the review, I'm just gonna say this will have spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie, uh, I wouldn't recommend you.